Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen how to implement the Options API store. So defining a store using the Options API, we have seen it. Now we can also implement the second argument which is present in the defined store. So the second argument we can also implement it with a setup, setup function. So this is an another possible syntax to defining the store. Similar to the view composition API setup function, we can pass a function that defines reactive properties and the methods and returns an object with the properties and methods we want to expose it. Same thing like that. So for example, let's say that uh, I want to implement the same thing. So for example, let's say that so instead of having this options object or otherwise what I will try to do is I will comment out this one so that we can have it for reference. So here what I will do export constant use counter store. So this up to here it is common use counter store is equal to define store. So first one is the unique ID which we want to express it which we want to add it counter store. And the next one is a function. Okay, it's a function. So it's a callback function, <clears throat> not a callback function, it's a normal function. And first one, the state. So we need to define the state. So what is the state? Count zero. So we can define it using what I can say is react to properties. So here I can write constant count is equal to ref. So which should be imported from the view ref of zero. So like this, we can implement it. That's it. Now what is another one we are having? So we have defined a state. So how many properties we are having? So like that we can have those many ref properties. Now getters. So if you want to implement the getters here, so we need to have a <coughs> computed property. For example, constant double count is equal to computed. It should be imported from the view router. Yeah, sorry, view computed. And here you'll be having a callback function and we need to return count dot value so here we need to use count dot value into two that's it finish so we got the computed property also now another thing if you want to mention the actions so the actions will be implemented using a function increment and here you can write count dot value plus plus that's it finish so this one is also done and now at the at the end what we need to do is we need to return all those things which should be exposed so here count should be exposed double count and the last one is the increment okay so this should be in exposed that's it so now we have created a store using two types of syntax first one is using the options api and the second one using the composition api setup function now here so what you need to understand is in this setup store ref is called as a ref is used refs become the state properties so whatever the refs you will try to initialize it here it will become the state properties and the computer properties and all those things will become the getters the functions which you are trying to mention the uh, mention the functions and all those things will become the actions so setup store so now let's see the output so whether it will work or not so here if i try to refresh this page and if i click on this one see still it is working if i make it as a triple not double count i will make it as a triple now let's see whether it will work or not so now refresh this page now here see one three times it is having see so that means the composition ap uh, using this setup store also it is working so setup store brings a lot of lot more flexibility so this one will bring you the lot more flexibility <clears throat> than the option store you can also create the watcher within the store and freely use any composable so you can also use any composables which we have uh, learned it in our previous videos so those things but using the composables and all those things will become more complex so we will not you will not i will not recommend you to use the composables and the setup stores are also able to rely on the globally provided properties like the router route and all those things also you can use it for example if you want to use the router so directly you can use so we have the composable composable right use router so these are all the things also you can use it in your setup thing okay so it will give you provide it will give you the access easily and uh, what i can see is and also you can use the provided uh, app level uh, which are provided uh, app dot provide like that which we have used it so we can inject those all things in the setup store so now you may be having in a doubt you may be having the doubt that so which syntax i need to use 
So whether I need to use the composition API type of syntax or the options API type of syntax that solely depends on your uh, thing only. So the and your requirement only. So I would suggest that if you are comfortable, uh, pick the one that you feel the most comfortable with. So which one, uh, which one you are feeling most comfortable, so you can pick one. So if you are not sure uh, why, which one to pick up and all those things means you can try the options first. So why? Because options will be uh, somewhat easy. So you can try the options first. Then afterwards, if you are feeling comfortable means you can go for the uh, composition. Okay, I set up store. So this is the thing. And using this store also is very easy. So composition setup store uh, using this store also it is very easy. If you try to see in the home view, there is nothing to do. So access the store variable anywhere in the component using this use counter store. Okay. So like that you can use it. So you can define as many stores as you want. So how many stores you want you can define it. And you should define, define each store in a different file to get the most out of Finia. So that is the thing. And here you can use it and you can use as uh, however you want to like it. So this is, these are the two types of syntax which are available in the for defining the store. So this is all about the syntax thing. So one is the options API type of syntax and the another one is the uh, what I can say is setup type of syntax. So here must and should what I need to what I want to do to tell is so must and should you need to return all the properties and the methods which you want to expose. So if you are not returning here means so these properties for example if you are not returning the double count means this double count I cannot able to use it for example if I remove this double count here I am removing this double count and now if I want to use it here so you may be getting an error so maybe hopefully you may be getting error see so you are getting an error so like this it will be so now so whichever the properties you want to use it in your uh, components so there are those all properties you need to return it here so this is all about this defining a store so i will try to tell you another concept also in how to use the store so how, how many different ways we can use this uh, defined store we will try to tell it to you in the next video so these are all the things i am committing in a new branch video iphone 68 this setup functionality so whoever may be having a doubts uh, in this uh, code and all those things if you want to refer this code so you can refer to this branch and the github link and all those things is provided in the uh, provided in the description below so you can have the github link and you can check it so i am publishing this branch i will show you here also so github.com slash view composition router so many people are asking me in the comments that uh, to share the github link or to share the code so i am sharing the code in this one composition router so whoever is having doubts around all those things so you can check here so this is all about this uh, defining a store in the two way in the two uh, function in the two functionalities if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you